Welcome to our graduation ceremony. I'm delighted to open it formally. Today is a very important milestone. Graduation marks a kind of climax in the Royal Veterinary College year. And it's an opportunity for us all to celebrate your success. So congratulations on your hard work in achieving your degree or award. And I hope you enjoy the graduation ceremony as we have very much enjoyed having you as part of the RVC family. Good day to you, wherever you are in the world. My name is Stuart Reid, and it's my privilege to be principal of the Royal Veterinary College. I'm delighted to add my words of welcome to those of my chairman as we come together to celebrate the achievements of those who've been working towards postgraduate qualifications here at the RBC. But before we get to the awards, I'd like to pay tribute to everybody who contributed to making this year what it has been. It's been a really difficult 12 months for everybody, but I'm delighted that here we are today celebrating the achievements of those who have worked so hard. So whether you're a student, whether you're a family member, whether you're a member of staff, whether you're a friend, thank you and congratulations. It's time to celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2021. Good afternoon. My name is Adrian Boswood and I am the Vice Principal for Learning, Teaching and Assessment at the Royal Veterinary College. It is my pleasure to present to you those candidates who have achieved the award of postgraduate degrees from the Royal Veterinary College. I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Graduate Diploma in Equine Locomotor Research. Greg Elliott Daniel Edward Harmon Mark Andrew Duran I present to you those candidates who have achieved the postgraduate certificate in Livestock Health and Production. Elaine Watson I present to you those candidates who have achieved the postgraduate diploma in Livestock Health and Production. Suzanne Lear I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Master of Science in Livestock Health and Production. Rebecca Antonia Barber I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Master of Science in One Health, Ecosystems, Humans and Animals. Praise Adeolu Ateyermo Nicole Arentz Latour Marianne Elsa Law Besson Isabel Byrne Russell Allen Laidlaw Carter Samuel Luke Cutler Jessica Claire Dennehy Kimberly Marie Edwards Nina Lester Finley Haley Beth Free Isabel Lytton Gabain Zaharat Kadri Alabi Stephanie Kathleen Key Sarah Ellen Levitz Deborah Mary Murkett Manon Marie Charlotte Rustit Sylvia Stronati
Francesca Florence Rose Tarr. Catherine Rose Warner. Emma Jane Weatherford. I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Master of Science in One Health Infectious Diseases. Jessica Ann Elizabeth Seal. Lucy Danielle Yarnold. I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Postgraduate Certificate in Veterinary Clinical Studies. Yahue Zhang. I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Postgraduate Diploma in Veterinary Clinical Practice. Tom Robert Angel. Zoe Bennett. Helen Alicia Farmer. Luca Antonio Fortuna. Jody Rihanna Green. Catherine Hanusek. Jessica May Hornby. Colleen Alice Jones. Lauren Elizabeth O'Leary. Amy Eliza Pagand. Edward John Pilkington. Faye Rawson. Imogen Lucy Elizabeth Rogers. Pius Spicehofer. Emily Jane Stacy. Charlie Talbot. Ellen Laura Taylor. Catherine Grace Tyndale. Richard David Trinder. Hannah Ward. Sarah Louise West. Thomas William Woolacott. Rosanna Mary Sinclair Wright. I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Postgraduate Certificate in Veterinary Education. Dr. Harun Akbar. Lisa Jane Angel. Joanne Brand. Yekaterina Burico. Larissa Campos Aquino. Charlotte Emily Louise Cantley. Natalie Mary Chancellor. Victoria Jane Crossley. Nikolaios Dadios. Maya Karina Dahlberg. Luisa Daricio. Helena Catherine Diffie. Joe Ditzel. Heidi Douglas. Kelly Druce. Margaret Prin Fordham. Faye Forsyth. Emily Charlotte Gascoigne. Lucy Helen Lindsay Giles. 
Catherine Anne Gray Eleanor Herbert Haley Hickling Carol Hoy Stephanie Dawn Inoue Sarah Ashley Jones Nissa Ann Levy Christina Marie Maiden Jennifer Allison Marnie Adam Dunstan Martin Rachel Bridget McCormack Kelly McGrady Kate Moore Ashley Moores Katie Nichols Holly Norman Peter O'Malley Francis Edward O'Sullivan Stuart Patterson Rachel Perry Olivia Ann Petritz Catherine Arlene Pitt Stephanie Lee Pryor Christopher Thomas Richards Heather Rudolph Jenny Louise Schmidt Mary Catherine Sheets Amy Marie Snyder Deborah Ann Stowe Benjamin Michael Swift Alan Hugh Taylor Chauvin Tandiwe Thorpe Amanda Carol Trimble Lizanne Helen Warner Purdy Welsh Julia Grace Wilkinson Imran Zahur I present to you those candidates who have achieved the postgraduate diploma in veterinary education. Jacqueline Davidson Susanna Nicola Taylor I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Master of Science in Veterinary Education. Travis Burns Sarah Jane Cripps Bridget Gabrielle Norton Anne Torgerson I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Master of Science in Veterinary e Epidemiology. Samyuktha Balakuma Araba Donko Botsi Ari Jennifer Brazier Roseanne Magali de Jong Matthew Michael Long Mugiamon Moon Darby Lisa Munz 
chinenye ofo eg punem. John Bosco Oswaragu Vin Lang Maria Tran Danielle Katie Varney Miki Okamura Yasui I present to you those candidates who have achieved the postgraduate certificate in veterinary epidemiology and public health. Katarina Albrechtova Salvatore Canu Finbar Condon English Patrick Thomas Crumlish I present to you those candidates who have achieved the postgraduate diploma in veterinary epidemiology and public health. Gabriel Onyango Chan Nolavuyo Ruth Magadla Deirdre Judith Nidonchu Champika Pereira Shebel Salem Mohammed Ahmed Umlai I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Master of Science in Veterinary Epidemiology and Public Health German Cajeres Garrido Victoria Ann Colgate Siobhan Corey Suzanne G Shami Erandika Gunawardena Richard Graham Heppel Kaya McNelly Patrick Mutinda Matuzi Stephen Ungulu Christiana Iberonka Odita Michaela Pesciaroli Piomika Madhubashini Ranatunga Yi Kui Tony Roberts Mohammed Shamin Sakar Bart Sustrong I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Master of Science in Wild Animal Biology. Elizabeth Jane Adams Paul Charles Barber Taya Leah Barber Sarah Betty Tobias Capel Mark Alexander Crehan Brittany Rose Goodwin Storm Rose Heaven Kai Yan Vanessa Lee Kaylee Lynn McCarthy Camille Grace Morales Max Norman Jessica Emma Russell Francesca Eleanor Tubb Sonia Valokia 
I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Master of Science in Wild Animal Health. Audrey Chen Gillian Margaret Forster Sarah Goni Martinez Justin Corey Kaiser Marta Nobra do Castro Pereira Rachel Elizabeth Taylor Irene Torres Blas I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Master of Veterinary Medicine. Christina Bianchi Fernanda Catarina Camacho Mary Elizabeth Cecciolini Inma Sarada Alexandros Hardash Jesus Diaz Buchan Christine Elizabeth Dubo Essa Sabrina Gillespie Miriam Guedra Ale Emily Jeans Sarah Marie Long Jack Stanley McHale Hannah Larson Moberg Deirdre Maloney Lydia Pode Alfonso Rodriguez Moulet Carlos Sanchez Villamil Mahika Senavaratni Rose Emily Tallon Sarah Charlotte Taylor Maria Vegas Comitra Crystal Louise White Heather Jane Williams Andy Yale This concludes the presentation of the Taught Postgraduate Awards. I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Master of Research. Justin Brown Amelia Coggan Alicia Godsell Ryan Michelle Judy Jones Joseph Michael Kirk Amrita Mohanty James Reese Sweet Jones Mustafa Yagichi. I present to you those candidates who have achieved the Doctor of Philosophy. Kevin Avalak. Sarah Elizabeth Allen. Lucy Bourne. Wan Ching Cheng. Bhagyalakshmi Chengat Prakash Babu. Caroline Crew. Ava Herbst. Paranaz Jalali. Eleanor Carp Tatham. Ed Knowles. Anna Magdalena Liedka. Sarah Lopez. Kirsty Marsh. Kate Meller. 
David Tristan Mills Julia Civelli Priscilla Tung Anna Worsley This concludes the presentation of the Postgraduate Research Awards. Chairman, Principal, I present to you those postgraduate students who are to be awarded prizes. Richard David Trinder, who is winner of the prize for first place on the postgraduate diploma in veterinary clinical practice. Purdy Welsh, who is winner of the prize for first place on the postgraduate certificate in veterinary education. Nina Lester Finley, who is winner of the prize for first place on the Master of Science in One Health. Roseanne Magali Dijong, who is winner of the prize for first place on the Masters of Veterinary Epidemiology. Francesca Eleanor Tubb who is winner of the prize for first place on the Master of Science in Wild Animal Biology. Rachel Elizabeth Taylor, who is winner of the prize for first place on the Master of Science in Wild Animal Health. Andy Yale, everybody's favorite resident, who is winner of the prize for first place on the Master, Masters of Veterinary Medicine. That concludes the award of prizes to postgraduate students. Hello, I'm Quentin Webmore, and as the president of the Students' Union, it is my pleasure to present to you the winners of two student prizes. The Extracurricular Excellence Award goes to Natasha Roslin, And the award for the most outstanding contribution to student life and the students' union goes to Jadu Clark Gilmore and Stephanie Ray Flecker. My congratulations and thanks to all three of you for your amazing achievements in such difficult circumstances. dependent upon the cooperation and collaboration of the student body and in particular the student union. This part of the ceremony sees the chain of office being handed on from the outgoing president to the incoming president. To the incoming president Sam Fenton, I wish you good luck. To the outgoing president Quinton Wedmore, my sincere thanks. You have done an incredible job in the face of real challenges. The way in which you have conducted yourself and the committees that you have overseen deserve the utmost praise, particularly given COVID. Quinton, I know you'll be a success wherever you go, and I'm sure there will be presidencies in the future. So well done, and for the work you've done, thank you on behalf of all of us. Chairman, Principal, I present to you those staff who are to be awarded Jim B. Student-Led Awards for 2021. Lisa Thurston, who receives the Jim B. Student-Led Award for Outstanding Teacher. Saira Amelia Kershid Akhtar, who receives the Jim B. Student-Led Award for Top Tutor. Elliot Gathercole, who receives the Jim B. Student-Led Award 
for super support staff. Sean Frasini, who receives the Jim B Student Led Award for Creative Curriculum. Charlotte Lawson, who receives the Jim B Student Led Award for Sensational Supervision. Brian Catchpole, who receives the Jim B Student Led Award for X Doing the Extra Mile, the Undergraduate Version Award. Victoria Crossley, who receives the Jim B Student Led Award for Going the Extra Mile Postgraduate Award. And Barbara Malenga, who receives the Jim B Student Led Award for Going the Extra Mile Support Staff Award. That concludes the presentation of staff receiving Jim B Student Led Awards for 2021. I have one more, one more duty and, 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 and I am incredibly honored and thrilled to be able to announce the winner of the Betts Prize for 2021. The Betts Prize is open to any member of or contributor to the college for outstanding contribution to the adv advancement of the college far beyond the call of duty. I am delighted to announce that this year's winner of the Betts Prize is Karen Wright for exceptional commitment and outstanding contribution to the Royal Veterinary College far beyond the normal call of duty. Karen's efforts have ensured that generations of students have been able to undertake the tracking rotations and the core rotations at times and with exceptions um, that are simply outstanding. She really has been a role model for many of us. Congratulations, Karen. Today is one of the biggest days in the RBC calendar and I'm delighted that you have been able to join us for the celebration. For those of us who have been through these events before, we recognize that it is a time for reflection and perhaps on that reflection, just the enormous significance of the step that you're all taking. It is a rite of passage, if you will. Graduation is what it says in the tin. It's a step along the way. It's part of a journey and one that you started many years ago and one that will run for many years to come, for your whole life, in fact. This is both the end of one part of your career and the beginning of another. It marks the transition from one stage of life to the next. It's a transition that will be exciting, but also daunting. And yes, there will be challenges ahead, but you will continue to prosper with the new skills you've acquired and the same support that you've had from your parents, your guardians, your friends, your families, your partners, your supporters. And on your behalf, I thank them for all they have done for you. I can see that they're very happy. So if you're intending to ask for money, today would be a really good day to do it. We at the RBC could not be prouder. You're the reason for our existence. You're the people with whom we have worked and who have worked so hard with us to achieve your degrees. Indeed, you've been dependent upon us and now the roles ironically are reversed because we are dependent on you. As you go out as our newest ambassadors and our standard bearers, and I know you will take that responsibility very seriously. At least I hope so. I've always said that if we were dependent upon our graduates for our reputation, then we would have few worries. Of course, there are other factors that come into play. And at a time when government policies are challenging and we're still living, here we are 12 months on, still living with not the aftermath of the pandemic, we're still living with the pandemic. We know that we only survive because we're able to work together and help each other. And I really beseech you to retain those links and continue to be supportive of each other as you move out into the next stage of your lives. You are, our newer grad, grad, new, you are our newest graduates uh, and in doing so you become members of our alumni and together with our staff and those who have gone before us, uh, we have been able to build a modern, dynamic and forward-looking organisation. An organisation I hope you will continue to feel part of and in which you will play an active role and lend your support. So on your behalf, I would like to thank my staff for their help in getting you to this point, especially given the ongoing challenges of the pandemic. 
and be clear that without students we would have no college and without a college no staff and without staff I would have no job so thank you very much. I'd like to be among the first to offer my congratulations to all of the new graduates of the Royal Veterinary College on this, your graduation day. Through no fault of your own, um, you have had to study during truly exceptional times. And I know that many of you have found studying during the period of restrictions imposed by the pandemic very challenging. Now, that makes your achievements all the more remarkable because you can be confident that the standard of the awards that you have received today is equal to that that would have been received in any other year. And the fact that you've been able to reach that standard during such exceptional times is a testament to the effort that you have all put in. So well done. Um, and I hope that you enjoy the path that a Royal Veterinary College degree enables you to follow. Congratulations to all of the graduates of 2021. Congratulations to everybody who is graduating today. This is such a big achievement and I hope you're really proud. It was a pleasure getting to know you a little bit and spending this time with you. And I wish you all the very best for your future careers and hope that you will find satisfaction and happiness in whatever you are doing. Well done, everyone. Great work. Take care of yourselves. Congratulations, everyone. I'd like to say a huge well done to all of you. You should be very proud of everything that you've achieved, particularly under very difficult circumstances. I wish you all the best in your future research careers and I hope to work with many of you in the future. So just a few words to say huge congratulations to all of you graduating today. I'd also like to say special congratulations and thanks to the mere five outstanding students who completed their research theses and projects with me within my group this last year. So Kirsty Marsh for her PhD, and Isabel Gaban, Sarah Levitz, Praise Adeyemo, and Nina Finley for their masters. Indeed, it's a double set of congratulations wholly deserved for Nina for being awarded this year's One Health Prize. So, really looking forward to seeing how you all progress at the next steps and indeed I'm lucky enough to be continuing working with several of you so well done to everybody once again fantastic achievement great it's wonderful to be part of this great day of celebration graduation 2021 and within my remit of research I'm of course particularly pleased for all the masters and PhD students who are receiving their awards today congratulations to you congratulations everybody well done, really well done. Um, tougher than usual, as you don't need me to tell you, and you've done a wonderful job. Very, very proud of you. And I guess I just leave you with one last, maybe one last message, one last thought, which is simply remember, always be careful of anybody who's not nice to waiters. They're not nice people. So keep that in mind. All right, congratulations, well done, bye-bye. Oftentimes at graduation, I'll talk about characteristics like resilience, like mental health and well-being, like support, like stay in touch. And yet, as I was putting pen to paper for this address and finalizing what I was going to say, I realized that for this cohort, for you, for the graduating class of 2021, you've already demonstrated in the most amazing fashion, all of those characteristics and more besides. In dealing with what you've dealt with over the last 15 months, I am totally humbled. And for that, I and my colleagues, I say thank you. Thank you for that, but also thank you for all that you've brought to the RBC. Even though we've been separated for much of the time, the social aspect that you've managed to inject into our day-to-day -day lives, and just the joie de vivre that, that you bring to, to everyday life, we are nothing without you. So for all you brought to the RBC, thank you so much. I realise I stand between you and the chance to celebrate properly with your family and friends. 
and those closest to you. And as you can see, I'm all dressed up with no place to go. You're entering a changing world and one in which you can do many things with your new skills. The future is yours, so seize it and take the opportunity to make your contribution in whatever avenue is open to you. Society needs you, the world needs you. And believe me, with your skills, you can make an impact. Indeed, as young graduates going out into a world that is ravaged by a pandemic, you have a responsibility to make your mark. Now looking around you, I'm sure there are a few smiles and also a few dewy eyes as you and your closest reflect on the early days when you set out on this journey. First steps, first day at kindergarten, leaving school, leaving home, and now here today, graduating. You're entering a world where you will never be too far away from an RBC alum. And if you remember only one thing from today, it must be this, that wherever you go and whatever you do, you will always be an RBC graduate. Congratulations, thank you, and good luck.